Hey out there and welcome. I'm Kate and I am back and I'm super glad that you're here with me today. We have a vinyasa flow, nothing too fancy. We're gonna work into the legs a little bit, get you some quad stretches, some hamstring stretches and lengthen those legs. A girl can dream. <laughs> so you may want a couple of blocks. You're definitely gonna want a strap or something that you can use, a scarf or a belt or anything at all that you can use as um, arm extenders. Find a quiet spot, roll out your mat, and let's get moving. Okay, so we're gonna start on our backs. Go ahead and lay down, but make sure that you have your arm extending belt, strap, um, towel, scarf, I don't know what else we could use, but any of those things will work. And go ahead and lay down. <laughs> and this is gonna be where I stay and I will just talk you through our practice today from here. I'm just kidding. But go ahead and lay down. And if once you get on the floor, if it's been a crazy, frantic, stressful day, maybe this is where you wanna stay. <laughs> you can just mute me. <laughs> to hang out here. You're perfectly welcome to. And that being said, please practice how it feels comfortable for you today. You won't be doing anything too nutsy, but if you need to modify, please do. All right, slide your eyes closed, settle in, and breathe. Nothing else you need to do right now. body relax, your mind loosen up with every breath. Take a deep breath in and let it out through your mouth. And again. One more, <laughs> deep breath in. <sighs> At the end of that exhale, you can start to move your fingers and your toes, draw your knees in, do some circles on your low back. <sighs> That's it, and you're gonna drop your left foot to the mat and we're going straight into it. Grab your strappy type thing here and you're gonna bring it over the ball of your right foot and stretch it straight up. Arms nice and straight, let your Heads of your arm bones relax down. You're gonna flex your foot and press gently into the ball of that right foot. And you can stay here with your left foot on the mat if your hamstrings are tight. If you want a little more intensity, you can extend your left leg out. You just don't want it to be blopping out. Just work that left leg a little bit. And press up through your heel and press the back of your thigh just toward the front of your mat as you breathe here. And we're gonna take both straps into your right hand. Your left hand can come to your left hip, your left thigh can go out to the side. We're gonna open your right leg out to the right. Try to keep some external rotation in your right hip. You want that hip to not like hitch up toward your ear, but lengthen away. Yeah. And when you inhale, you're gonna come back up through the middle Take the straps into your left hand and cross over just a little bit and take your, uh, your right thumb and you're gonna hook it into your right hip crease. And ideally this is gonna move the stretch to the outer edge of your leg, but if you're still feeling it in the hamstring, don't panic. It's not really a big deal. <laughs> okay, and then bring that leg back up through the middle and you're gonna bend your left knee, take your right ankle on top of your left thigh and you can get rid of your strap. You're just gonna drop everything over to the left until you're standing on that right foot. Left hand to the top of your right foot if it's accessible to you. And then work that inner right thigh away from your chest as you spin your torso to the right. Add a little twist here. Yes. That's it. Inhale, come back up through the middle. You're gonna grab a yoga, uh, yoga to hold, a happy baby with this right leg. And from your happy baby, we're gonna start to just nice and easy roll forward and back and forward and back. And maybe you get enough momentum 
to come on up. So we're in this seated happy baby type deal. Left hand's gonna come across to the outside edge of your foot. You can come to your calf or your knee if you want to. Right hand comes behind you. Sit up nice and tall. Spin your chest so you're kind of facing the back edge of your mat and kick your right foot forward. Take a breath here. All right, come back through the middle. You're gonna plant your right foot a little bit out to the side so you can bring both hands down to the inside of that right foot. Step the left leg back, drop your back knee. Make your way into a lizard pose. If your back knee is feeling funky, you can always fold your mat over. Give yourself a little extra padding. And shift your weight into your left hand. Right hand's gonna come to your right thigh. Give yourself a twist here. If you wanna work the twist and hang there, you can. If you wanna add a quad stretch, you can reach that right hand back. Grab for your foot, roll your right shoulder open, whether or not you've got the foot. Feel your torso twist. Inhale. When you exhale, set it down. Plant your hands, step it back, downward facing dog. Ah. Oh. Inhale, rock forward into plank. Exhale, lower those knees, chest and chin, elbows tight to the ribs, and then shoot it forward, baby cobra. Inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take it up and back. They're gonna gaze forward and just tiptoe. Top of the mat. Bend your knees, drop your butt, roll onto your back. Boom, we're here again. All right, grab your strap. Right foot stays. Take the strap over the ball of your left foot. Stretch it up. Again, you wanna relax your shoulders. Feel the weight of your arms drop down. Flex that foot, press up gently through the ball of your foot. As you extend up through the back of your left leg, take a second. If you're cool with your right foot, hanging out where it is, you can do that. If you wanna extend out a bit, Push gently through your right heel as you stretch it to the top of your mat. And breathe here. Yes. You ready? Both straps in your left hand. Come out and over to the left. And notice maybe this side feels a little tighter Maybe it feels like you have a little more space. Whatever it is, just kind of, I don't know, notice. No good, no bad, just is. <laughs> right? Okay, come back up through the middle. Straps into your right hand. Take your left thumb, hook it into your hip crease and cross over just a bit. working into the outer edge of your leg there. You're gonna bend your right knee, cross your left ankle over the top, and you can get rid of the strap. Here we go, everything's gonna drop over to the right. Right hand onto the top of your foot, if it's accessible. If it's not, and your foot feels farther away, then don't worry about it. But if it's there and you can grab it, go for it. Inner left thigh is gonna work away from you, and then spin so your left shoulder sinks a little deeper into the floor and breathe. Okay, here we go. Come back up through the middle. Half happy baby. Pull it in. Ugh. Okay, now we're gonna start to extend this right leg a little bit. Let's get some momentum going. We're gonna roll forward and back and forward. <laughs> I'm back all the way up. Try to have some fun with it. I don't know. And you can keep this right leg folded in. We're going to take a bit of um, a half happy baby while we're seated. And then right hand comes across. Grab the outer edge of your leg there. Take your left hand behind you. Again, you're going to sit nice and tall. Spin your torso. Kick through your left foot. Inhale, come back through the middle. We're gonna plant your left foot. Ready? Shift your weight to the inside edge. Step your right foot back. 
drop your back knee. We're in lizard now, so you can sink your hips, lift your chest. If there's any variation you like to work, down onto your forearms, under the block, you can go ahead and do that too. Okay, and that right hand's gonna stay where it is, left hand can come to your left thigh and work your twist here. can bend that back knee. If you want to go for the quad stretch, grab your right foot with your left hand. Roll your left shoulder open. Deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. Plant your hands, step back. Downward facing dog. And work it here. And take your gaze forward and tiptoe up. Take your time, working a little bit more into the hamstrings. Walk it forward and fold when you get there. Root through your feet, inhale, halfway lift. Hands to your shins or fingertips to the blocks or to the floor. Exhale and fold. Push through your feet, inhale, this time come all the way up, Ordva Hastasana, sweep it out, reach it up, and dive right back down over the legs, Uttanasana, fold, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, downward facing dog, take it back, sweep your right leg up, take it back, down dog split, you're going to stack your right hip open, bend your knee, give yourself a second here. Yes, and then squared off, gaze forward. Step your right foot up between your thumbs and drop your back knee. Coming into a low lunge here, you wanna stay up on your fingertips, using the blocks if you want them underneath your hands, right? Sink your hips, lift your chest. Oh. Inhale. When you exhale, rock your hips back. Work to straighten that front leg. You wanna drag your sitting bones back behind you. Feel your chest lift. When you inhale, you're gonna rock forward again. Take your left foot and sweep it behind you. So it's gonna sweep over to the left. And then take your right leg and you're gonna step it back. So we're in a Vashisasana, but the left knee's down. Take your top arm, reach it up. And then right alongside your ear. That's it. And from here, you're gonna Take your right arm, stretch it straight up again. See if you can float your right foot. Beautiful. And then you're gonna bend that right knee, grab for the top of your foot, roll your shoulder open. Kick your foot back into your hand. Nice. Extend back through that right leg, and then you're gonna keep the leg straight, drop your foot to the mat, so we're back in this side plank. Press into your left hand, press into your right foot, and see if you can lift your left knee up off the mat. I'm gonna kick it out and drop it into a fallen triangle. Root through your feet. Ah, oh, give yourself a nice stretch through the sides. All right, and you're gonna windmill this right hand down to the floor. Drop your outer left hip down. Come onto the ball of your back foot. Inhale. Lengthen up as much as you can through the front of your body. When you exhale, we're gonna come out and over for a little dying warrior. Check out your head a little. If you want to, you can walk your forearms over to the left, just a touch. Maybe walk the right hand away from you. Get even more length. And then slide your right elbow underneath. You're gonna come back so you're square to the front end of your mat. Plant your hands, and this left leg's gonna swing up and back for a down dog split. Oh, inhale, reach it up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, step forward. Anjaneyasana, drop your back knee. Inhale, take your arms. Reach them up, plug those legs into the sockets, sink your hips, deep breath. And then hands to the mat, step it back, downward facing dog. 
rock forward through plank and then knees chest chin if you want to chaturanga baby cobra or an upward facing dog and then pull it up stretch back downward facing dog <sighs> okay inhale float your left leg reach it back bend your knees stack your hip <sighs> square it off inhale exhale step it up between your thumbs drop your back knee stay on your fingertips for low lunge sink your hips <sighs> inhale exhale drag your hips back a little Ardha Hanuman feel your sitting bones kind of scoop back behind you here we go we're gonna rock forward again shift your weight to your right hand sweep your right foot behind you to the right step your left foot long to the back edge of the mat got a nice side plank thing here <laughs> gonna <laughs> reach up through your left hand ah and then shift your weight so your right shoulder pops over your wrist and float your left leg up bend this knee you're gonna grab for the foot if it's accessible left hand to left foot roll your left shoulder open and then kick it out replace it left leg still nice and straight push into your left foot into your right hand lift your right knee up kick it just out to the left fall in triangle both feet rooted oh, inhale when you exhale drop your outer right hip spin on the ball of your left foot lengthen up and fold dying warrior you can scoot your elbows over to the side breathe if you want to walk your left hand a little bit farther away And walk your left elbow back underneath you. Come back through center. Plant your hands. This right leg's gonna kick up and back now. Down dog split. Inhale. Exhale, knee to nose. Pull it in. Inhale it up and back. Step it forward. Anjaneyasana. Drop your back knee. Inhale. Reach up. Exhale. Hands to the floor. Step forward. Uttanasana. Halfway lift. And let it go. Uttanasana. Press into the floor. Rise up. Ordva Hastasana. Bend your knees if you need to. Exhale. When you get to the top, fold all the way back over your knees. Inhale. Lengthen. Downward facing dog. Sweep your right leg up. Down dog split. Bend your knees. Stack your hip. Open it up. That's it. And then kick it straight out. Step it forward back knee down inhale exhale slide it back Ardha Hanuman inhale rock it forward left foot's gonna sweep behind same deal take your right foot step it long here we are we're back <laughs> float this right leg up take your right leg or your right arm alongside your ear inhale exhale elbow to knee hug it in just one tap and then stretch it out. You're going to bend, grab the top of your foot. <sighs> Beautiful. Extend out through your right leg. You're going to plant your right foot. You're going to do the same lift. Ready? So press into your left hand, press into your right foot, lift your left knee in, float it up, drop it down, tap your toe, lift it back up drop it down and then kick it a little bit forward and you're gonna flip onto your heels set your butt down inhale here when you exhale fold to the inside of your legs upavista kanasana keep extending through your heels when you inhale you're gonna round yourself up Sweep your right hand behind you. Lean into your right hand. Push into your heels. You're going to lift up. Feel those hips extend up. And then drop your butt to the mat. Spin yourself all the way around. Left leg's going to swing up and back. Down dog split. Inhale here. Exhale. Step forward. Crescent lunge. Root through your feet. Come on up. Scissor your inner thighs. Sink your weight down. 
extend up through the sides of your body, all the way up into your fingertips. <sighs> Inhale. Exhale, open, find warrior two. So your shoulders soften. Even though your shoulder blades kind of draw in toward each other, extend fingertip to fingertip, take a breath in. And when you exhale, we're gonna windmill those puppies down to the floor. Step it back, downward facing dog. <sighs> Inhale, rock it forward, find plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin, chaturanga. <sighs> Baby cobra or upward facing dog. And downward facing dog, pull it back. <sighs> Take your left leg, lift it up, inhale. Bend your knees, stack your hips. <sighs> You're gonna square it off. Gaze forward. When you exhale, step your left foot up between your thumbs. Drop your back knee, pop onto your fingertips. Inhale, exhale, Ardha Hanumanasana, slide your hips back. Work to straighten that leg. We're working a little faster, right? Just picking up the pace, rock your weight forward, bend your right or your left knee. Our right foot's gonna sweep behind. Step your left foot to the back edge of your mat and a little knee down Vashisasana. And now we're gonna do that shift, right? So your shoulder comes over your wrist, float your left leg up, take your left arm alongside your ear, inhale. Exhale, elbow to knee, give a tap. <sighs> inhale, kick it out. And when you exhale, bend that left knee, maybe grab for the foot. Find your balance here, lengthen your tailbone, keep rolling open through this left shoulder. <sighs> And then release, extend back through your left foot, drop your left foot to the mat, press your left foot down, press into this right hand, you're gonna lift the right knee up. Kick your right foot straight in front, you're gonna drop pinky toe down to the mat, and then lift it back up. <sighs> drop it down, and then kick it forward a bit so you can take your butt to the mat. Toes point up toward the ceiling, gonna spin your chest so you're facing this weird edge of your mat. <laughs> Lengthen up. Oh, and fold. Hmm. Until your sitting bones press back behind you. Hmm. Okay, slowly going to round up. Take your left hand Swing up behind you, press into your heels, lift your hips, inhale. Exhale, butt to the mat. Everything's gonna spin all the way around, so your back, right leg sweeps up, kick it back. Down dog split, inhale. Exhale, <laughs> need a nose, I don't remember. Up and back, I think we skipped one somewhere. And then step it forward, crescent lunge. Either way. Get a little extra work in. Sink the weight of your hips. Bring the corners of your mouth up. Reach those fingertips up too. <laughs> Inhale. Exhale, open, warrior two. Shoulder blades in so your upper back is strong. Shoulder soft. Full breath here. You're gonna windmill your hands down to the floor. Step it back, downward facing dog. Gaze forward and tiptoe to the top. Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Press into your feet. Urdhva Hastasana, inhale, reach it up. Right back over those legs as you exhale, fold Uttanasana. Lengthen when you get there. And then let yourself just kind of collapse into your Uttanasana, bend your knees, drop your butt to the mat, roll all the way onto the floor. Ah, hug those knees in. Rock just a little bit. So you take your arms out to the sides, let your knees collapse over to the right. Feel your left shoulder sink in. Inhale, back up through the middle. Exhale, let your knees go over to the left. And this time your right shoulder is gonna sink in.
and out through the middle. Happy baby. We had halfsies, now we get the full. Rock a little bit side to side. And when you're ready, drop your feet to the mat. And we rest. If there's anything else you need, if you need a little scoot <laughs> to the top of your mat, you can scoot up, let your legs stretch out. <sighs> let your eyes close. And maybe you've been just like this the whole time. <laughs> it's totally fine. <sighs> Feel yourself just surrender. <laughs> Let your breath deepen. And while you rest here and your awareness is on this new buzzy feeling in your body, this activity, this energy right below the surface, enjoy that, that sensation of being alive. Feel the beating of your heart and appreciate this body that you have that brought you through your practice today and brings you everywhere, always, for every experience. Say a quiet thank you. And just enjoy that bubbling of energy right below the surface. And you can stay here as long as you want. And give it a pause here and just hang out. When you're ready, let your breath deepen. Hmm. And feel that bubbling energy come all the way to the surface as you move your fingers, your toes, and draw your knees in. And roll to one side and pause here. Take a moment to breathe in the space between Chavasana and the rest of your day. <sighs> and then press into the strength of your arms. Come on up. Find a comfortable seat. Bring your palms together into Anjali Mudra. And as your heart lifts up, bring your palms to press right in front of it. <laughs> And say one more quiet thanks to your body, your breath, for your practice. And I thank you for joining me. As always, I appreciate you being here. May you step off your mat and into a lovely day full of bubbly energy. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell, ding, <laughs> and check out some of my other stuff. I hope to practice with you again soon.